I believe that the best way to create more time is to manage your time. In other words, we all have 24 hours of the day. That's non-negotiable. But if you sit there and waste an hour here and an hour there, then you're wasting your time. You're not doing anything productive. If you manage your time, if you create a system where you could do the things that you would like to do, then you won't waste as much time as you would if you didn't have a plan. You always need to have a plan. How do I manage my time? As a student, how do I manage my time? Well, I have many things going on. I have schoolwork and you know everything related to school. I have this YouTube channel. I go to the gym regularly, six times a week or five times, but I try to go there six times a week. Uh, I'm working on my own side projects. So I, I have all these things going on, okay? How do I actually manage my time? Well, you need to look at this. You need to look at this like you're, you're a general, okay? And your time is your troops, okay? So you, your job is to distribute your troops to the best places possible and the most efficient places possible. So first you need to cr create a pr priority list. You list out the things that are, you know, that, that have a higher priority than others. And then you should be putting more time on the things that you would like to focus on, the things of high priority. For example, going to school, that might be your number one priority. You put that as the top, okay? And you put the most amount of time to it. And then you look at your list, priority list, and you keep on adjusting. Create a timetable. At this, at this time, I'm going to be doing this, at this place, at, you know, with this person. So create a timetable. A manageable timetable don't try to make this impossible timetable where you try to cram everything together and you try to I don't know try to become this sort of productivity master because you aren't the productivity master you need to go you need to approach this with one step at a time you can't go out there and think that you're going to change your life in a couple of weeks because you'll fail miserably so take, take it one step uh, at a time. And always, th this tip is crucial. Always make sure to have enough breaks and rests. Your brain and your body needs to rest. Once you put it through too much, too much work, your brain is going to give up. It's going to provide you with poor results. In all of your, in all of your uh, fields on your on your priority list all of them so it's crucial to give your brain some time to to rest and to bring itself together so it could uh, help you out tomorrow without without rest your brain will not be on your side your brain won't help you out your brain will fail you when you need it most so give your brain the rest it requires. By rest, I mean taking regular breaks through one study period and another study period or one work period and one uh, and the other work period or just, yeah, just putting random breaks in, in your day. Another way to give your brain some, you know, rest is to get enough sleep. I, I aim for about seven to eight hours. At seven to eight hours, I'm, I'm, I'm functioning, you know, at my best. Anything below seven hours will start taking away from your focus. So try to aim for at least, at least seven hours, especially if you're a teenager. And then after this, you want to make sure that you're eating properly. Because if you don't eat properly, during the day, 
your brain won't function properly. So eat properly for your brain to function properly. Sometimes when I finish school at five, if I don't eat properly during the day, I won't have, I won't have the energy to complete the day successfully. So I'd be risking some of my subjects. I'd be risking my focus in some of my subjects, which is not ideal. It's not ideal. You'll be wasting your time. This is a way to waste your time. If, if you, if you're physically sitting in a place and you're trying to do something, but you aren't doing what you're supposed to do, then you are wasting your time and your time is valuable. So this is what I mean by managing your time. I don't mean, I don't mean it with, in the literal sense to just make a timetable and everything. No, no, no. Okay, don't get me wrong. That is very important. But what's even more important, in my opinion, is creating an environment where you could do the things that you want to do with the best efficiency possible. Creating an environment where you could be as productive as possible, as happy as possible, because that is the most important part. So always aim for that. Aim to make your day as productive as possible. So look at your body, look at your brain, look at what they need and give them what they need. Don't spoil them. Don't give them too much comfort because that will take away from your productivity. So give them the right amount of comfort and the right amount of care so that they could give, uh, give back to you. So they could help you out when you need them most. That's it. Give your brain some well-needed rest and it'll be on your side.